hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video i'm going to show you how you can use string contains function in power apps before i proceed further if you have not only subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe right now so guys we know that power apps in office 365 is a very power it's a very powerful tool and it has got too many flexibilities to utilize and one of that i'm going to show you in this video so make sure you understand this formula very clearly so guys if you are familiar with coding technologies like dot net powershell and whatever you know that for string functions there is a simple thing like substring string dot contains this so you can verify if a substring is a part of a string or not but how you are going to do this in powershell so this is how you are going to do if substring in string so in this formula so if this condition let's say you have a string part a and you have been asked if part is part of part a or not yes it is so if part in part a yes then it will return the uh, value one if not it will return the value two so in this way you can utilize it in your functions across various conditions and anywhere else where it is supported in power apps and then you can use it from there so that's how simple it is guys and i hope you're gonna like it thanks for watching